So at the risk of making this too dirty, let's, uh, <coughs> you know, if there is a budget line that looks like that, Is this person, can they afford to be at point, let's see, I got an A and a B, I guess let's call this C. Can they afford to be at point C? Yes. Can they make themselves happier, possibly, than what they are cur their current level of happiness at point C? Aren't they on their budget? They're on their budget line, yes. But what is this graph showing? Oh, so the here next IC line. That'd be happier. That'd be happier, right? Okay. As we push out further, those are higher levels of happiness. And so, for instance, um, we could move to a point like D. D, this person's happier. They're on a higher indifference curve. What have we done? We've reallocated the budget. We've just spent our money differently. We've given up some hats, and we've got more shoes by reallocating our budget. We can afford to do it. The market, according to income and the prices of goods, shows that we're able to make that trade. Our <coughs> preferences tells us that we were willing to make that trade. And now, are we done yet? Have we maximized utility? According to that chart, yeah. According <coughs> to this chart? Because there's no more intersect. OK, good point, Daryl. There's no more intersect. So according to this chart, if your hands were tied and you were not allowed to be creative, you would have to say that <coughs> that's where we're at for this graph. But if I ask you a test question, is there another allocation that would make this person happier? So you can reduce your hats, increase your... You, you do it again, that's right. Okay. Yeah, so that's exactly right. And I, I could throw a test question at you like that to say, suppose that the consumer is at point D, and maybe it looks exactly like this. And so your perception might be, oh, well, we can't get to those because we can't afford it. But if the question says, could this consumer be happier at a different bundle, the answer is yes. Because we don't take the time to draw the infinite number of indifference curves. Yeah, can't there like, be a lot? Like infinity. infinity. Okay. Yeah. If I drew them all, then, and in fact, I'll do it for you. I, I, can, I can do it, yeah. Watch this. Quantity of shoes, quantity of hats, done. These white, these white lines are all of the indifference curves. Okay. Right? Gotcha. Because remember that indifference curve, that three-dimensional thing that's coming up, we're slicing at different levels of utility, and there's an infinite number of uh, slices that are available. We're just picking off five of them so, in this case. So, okay, if shoes make him like so happy, why can he not just buy all shoes? Like, why is it that? Okay, good question. So we we would get there. So if uh, is, it, is it diminishing uh, utility? Like uh, possibly, and it depends on the preferences. So, uh, like I Deidre, I think I know where you're going with this, okay. and so let me just do. Like, if we don't know, like that is like utility diminishes, like. Let me do this for you, okay? okay? Just extend those out. So where does the consumer maximize utility? It's where they're on the highest indifference curve possible, which is only going to happen at one point. If we imagine there being a whole infinite family of curves here, there's one and only one that just kisses okay. that point. Right? Okay. So and so right there. there, now I know that I've maximized utility given this set of circumstances with the budget. And so this then becomes consumer equilibrium. That is the optimal quantity of shoes, that the quantity that maximizes utility, and this is the optimal quantity of hats. So we call them Q star and QS star, QH and QS star. So will we have to answer something like that on the test with the QS star and QH? Possibly. Um, so that just means it's the optimal. optimal that's that's the, the yeah. Right? So on this question, I could say, is there any other combination of shoes and hats that could make this person happier given their current 
income and prices? Answer, no. no. They've done it. That maximizes utility. 